Hola. Welcome, everybody. Dear Susha. Welcome, everybody, to our first um, class of the year. Um, we're very happy to start our classes again and um, get ready for the this Super Bowl weekend. So today with you we have Isabella and I'll let her introduce herself and she's going to have a delicious recipe to get ready for those days. And with that I'll hand it over to you Isabella. Thank you Tere. Welcome everybody. Welcome back to another uh, cooking class with Morphe. I'm really excited to be here with you. I don't know if we can still see Happy New Year, but Happy New Year because we haven't seen each other since last year. So welcome back. And for those of you who are new, my name is Isabella. I will be your host for this evening. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm a photographer, I'm a food stylist, and I am a chef. And I was taught by the very best, which are Amelitas, Tias, uh, my dad, who loves to cook, and he inherited that from his family and passed it down to me. Uh, and I just love uh, serving others through my food and making other people happy uh, through my food. That's my, you can say that's my love language. Okay, so today, uh, so I can start sharing my love language with you guys, I, we can cook together and get ready for the big game next weekend, yes, weekend, uh, and very exciting, and this, you can do tailgating, or you can also do home gating, as we like to say, you can just gather with friends or family and just watch the game, and this, but honestly, this is such a good recipe that you can make all year round, okay, and that's what I like to do with my recipes. Um, so let's get started. Today we're doing uh, a Mexican hot dog, o como les llaman en el pueblo, cochos, así les llaman en Tijuana, de donde yo soy, uh, bolos sometimes, y cochos, okay? So these are Mexican hot dogs. And what makes it Mexican, oh, you'll see in a little bit. Um, but we are doing a very special twist on this with because uh, we're using avocados. And if you don't know, Super Bowl weekend is one of those weekends that um, I, I believe it's one of those weekends that avocados are most consumed during that weekend. Uh, so it's um, guacamole as well. Uh, so it's, we're using avocado in our spicy avocado aioli um, that you can also use to dip your wings or to, or to dip veggies or whatever you want. It's just a really good uh, dipping sauce. And we're gonna use it to drizzle over our bacon wrapped hot dogs, okay? So let's get started. And for that, we are going also going to uh, making cebollitas, these caramelized onion. And this recipe is actually my husband's. Uh, he always makes these cebollitas for hamburgers, for hot dogs, for honestly, for anything he feels like doing these. Uh, and this is his recipe, so this one's for him. Uh, he shared it with me, okay? So he let me share it with you guys. No, just kidding. Yo siempre meto mano en la cocina, obviously. Uh, but he really loves to make these. So, so that's his recipe. So let's get started. For these guys, uh, we need one large yellow onion, uh, finely, finely chopped into half moons. And then what we have going on here is I have half a tablespoon of olive oil and three tablespoons of butter. And why you always, uh, if you're cooking with butter, I always recommend adding a little bit of oil. That way your butter doesn't burn too fast. It doesn't brown, okay? So that's what, why we always combine um, olive oil and a little bit of butter. So in this skillet, this is a medium-sized skillet. I'm going to heat my, I'm gonna, I've been heating this one for a while, so I'm gonna do mine on low, but recipe calls for medium, high heat. So we're gonna do that. There we go. We're gonna get that started. So we're, I'm gonna allow my butter to melt before I add my cebollitas, okay? 
Okay. Oh my gosh, this smells so good already. It doesn't even have half of the ingredients in them. So in here, I'm going to add, gonna let give it a little help out so it melts faster. So in here, I'm gonna add my one large yellow onion. Okay, you guys. There we go. This is super easy cebollita or grilled onion recipe, okay? We're just gonna move it right here, there we go. I'm going to add, and this one, I do not add salt, regular salt to this. I'm only gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. And I do have a lot of onion, but I'm gonna just season with a little bit of garlic salt. And I like to use Lori's garlic salt. It's this one, tapon tapadera verde. I grew up using this salt, it's always in the house. And then I'm gonna add pepper, okay? Just like that. And I'm going to I heat. I'm just gonna allow for my onions to cook for about three minutes and just become a little bit translucent. Allow for them to cook. Because then we're gonna add our secret, not so secret ingredient. And obviously this looks like a lot, but they're, when they caramelize, they uh, let all their juices out and they reduce, okay? It's like one of those, like, all the, uh, um, champignon, like, um, spinach or, you know, like, uh, mushrooms, they always, you always end up with a big bunch and then they reduce to a smaller size. So this is going to happen with our cebollitas, with our onions as well. So I'm going to heat up a little bit. I'm just going to allow for them to cook. And our ingredient that we're gonna add, that my husband likes to add, is one tablespoon of yellow mustard, okay? He never, he would never tell me when we were dating what he added to his onions, uh, but I always thought he just used like a really, like yellow onions, right? Cause they turn out a little bit yellow. And then he's like, I add mustard to it. So here you go. We're gonna add mustard, but we're gonna allow that to cook. And you can also, oh, we have a chat. So if you guys want to ask questions uh, about ingredients, about processes, about substitutes, go ahead. I'm always happy to answer any of your questions, okay? And we are also going to um, have a drink in this class because if you've been here before, you know we like to end with piquete. So we are ending the class with piquete. And that piquete would be spicy cucumber michelada, okay, you guys? Ooh. Maybe you can show them that the onion has be onions have become to sweat. That's what that's what we call it. So they're starting to sweat, and that means that they're starting to reduce as well. So we started with a big, bigger bunch, and now they're cooking a bit down. And we're gonna allow for them to cook. Okay. I'm just gonna leave them right there. Now I like to cook these in a cast iron. I also like to cook my hot dogs in a cast iron, but um, you can do a, a non-stick pan. Uh, these guys always come in handy. Oh, maybe you can turn the music up a little bit. Get in that, in that festive mood. There we go. Okay, so remember, one large onion, thinly sliced. We did three tablespoons of butter, a half a tablespoon of olive oil, just so that butter doesn't uh, care, uh, doesn't burn really fast. That's what the oil helps it out. And we did Lori's garlic salt and pepper. That's it. I don't like to add uh, salt to these because I already feel like there's bacon, there's hot dogs, there's just aioli that we're gonna season to taste. So I feel like these don't have to be overpowering and salty, okay? There we go. Any questions? I just cooked this down first for about three minutes and then I add the mustard, okay? And continue to cook. Questions, anybody? So now that they have been cooking for a while and we have reduced, I'm going to add my tablespoon of yellow mustard. So what are your guys' favorite Hot dog puppies. I heard some crazy ones, so I want to see what you guys, what's your favorite? What was that in the back? Oh, chili 
chili cheese dog. Chili. I thought she meant cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh. Uh, that's pretty simple. Yeah, that's not that crazy. Uh, but yeah, uh, traditional chili, chili. I like chili cheese dogs. Oh, and then you like to have chile huerito, right? That's my sister. She likes to add uh, chile huerito with onions, which you can totally do, but we are, uh, we are adding the serrano into our aioli, okay? So I'm adding the spice. You can technically also add chiles in here, but I'm adding the spice into our aioli, okay? Ooh. Continue to cook those onions for about three more minutes, just until they are a little bit more caramelized. But as you can see, I think, I hope they can, maybe you can show them, uh, that they have turned a little bit more yellow than they, they were because of that mustard. And then that's going to give it that nice, a uh, rich flavor and it's also going to help them caramelize really nicely. So there we go. Cebollitas. Also, these cebollitas on top of a ribeye taco, really good. So that's why I'm, when I'm creating a recipe, I love to create a recipe thinking that you can use it for something else as well. Okay, so it can become a staple at your house with the cebollitas or that aioli. And we're actually going to move on to that aioli. Uh, while these still exist, okay? So what we have going on here is I use three fourths cups of best with mayo, my favorite. All right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Please. Okay, so in here I have three fourths cups of mayo. I added one serrano. I did not seed it because I want it to be spicy. You can get rid of the seeds if you feel like too much. You can also do a kind of thing. Uh, but I did a fresh serrano, didn't take the seeds out. I added one tablespoon of minced garlic. And I'm going to add one fourth cup of jalapeno pickle juice, okay? And in here, also, I have three tablespoons of lime juice, okay? Freshly squeezed lime juice. And the pickle juice from the jalapenos is just the, the juice that the jalapenos come in in, in the can, okay? And we're going to do one cup of cilantro. Not tightly packed, just it's just one loose pack. Cut. Here we go. And basically, in aioli, what it is, it's a, I don't want to say it's a fancier, a fancier meal, but it is a fancier meal. Um, I'm just going to give it a little curl, as the cebollita, the little onions, so they don't burn. Oh, they smell so good. Okay, and to this, we are going to add our one large ripe avocado, okay? And I like to add it in pieces, so that helps out my, my, video, my blender. Any questions, you guys? No questions. It's a Tuesday. We're not paying attention. Okay. And this, we're going to season with salt and pepper to taste. So first, we're going to blend. I do like to add a little splash of water, just like that, so it uh, helps. Because uh, avocado is really thick, mayo is also really thick. We also have a lot of yeah. Uh, Serrano, we have cilantro. Ooh, estas cebollitas huelen muy bien. Saludos de la Abu, la suegra y la Diana. Hola, hola. They're watching back home. Okay, so we're going to blend until this is uh, completely smooth. I am going to give it a little 
little help because, like I mentioned, that avocado. Okay, and I mentioned in the recipe that you can add uh, water gradually, so un until you reach your desired consistency, right? Okay. And this one's also a great one, like I mentioned, for dipping those wings or for dipping verduras or whatever you want to eat during the Super Bowl weekend. Wait, I'm not going to say the little tazón, the little tazón, the super tazón. I think that's what they call it. There we go. I'm going to continue blending. And I'm going to give it a little twirl. There we go. completely blended and smooth so you don't want to get chunks of that cilantro or that serrano okay i'm just going to help it out at the bottom Ooh. Perfect. okay going to season with salt we do about two pinches i'm going to do a little bit of pepper Nice, look at that. Nice. Now we have to try. Ooh, that picosita. But just the way I like it, okay? Because those cochos or hot dogs need to have that kick, okay? So cebollitas are good to go. They have started to caramelize, but you don't, you don't want them to have them completely dry, okay? So I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to turn my other skillet for my hot dogs to medium high heat, okay? Okay. Any questions on that avocado spicy aioli? No? Honestly, you can also use it as a dressing for yourself. Veronica Romo says hello from Texas. Hola, Veronica. Veronica is an afanque. She's always there. She's always present. She watches every one of my classes. So a big shout out to Texas. You know we love Texas. Okay, moving on. Here I have eight beef hot dogs that I have wrapped in uh, that I wrap in bacon. Center. I like to use center cut bacon. So you would need uh, eight hot dogs and eight bacon sticks. Okay. Then save this for later. And you can also add toothpicks. I honestly don't add toothpicks. I feel like mine always cook really nicely in the pan. Um, but you can add, also add toothpicks in order for the bacon to stay. I do not add oil or anything to the pan because we have enough grasita de la buena in it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is after you wrap your hot dogs like money, just like this, we are going to add them into a skillet on medium, uh, medium high heat. And we're gonna cook for about, I would say for about three minutes on each, each side, or about six to eight minutes total. Uh, we wanna get that, um, we wanna get that um, bacon crispy, but we also wanna get that hot dog completely, completely uh, cooked, fully cooked, okay? And you can show them. What I will say is I do not like to overcrowd my hot dogs because I want them, I want them to stick to each other and I want them to be nice and fully brown. There we go. Okay. The cebollita. Uh, bacon wrapped hot dogs that we're gonna cook and we're gonna keep an eye on them because we're gonna we're gonna uh, roll them a bit. Not roll them, we're gonna uh, rotate them. What's your guys' 
favorite thing to eat during the Super Bowl? Chips, chips and dip. Chips and dip? Do you like watch people like this or is it something like that? Buffalo wings is one of my favorite things, and I like to make my own sauce uh, and my own like dipping sauce. Uh, I also like these hot dogs. Actually, these hot dogs are now my top three things to eat uh, for like watching games or la masada, lo que sea. They're really good. Yo lo que sea que los pilos y cuan, because that's the way we eat them all around the corners in Tijuana. There's these little like hot dog stands, uh, pochos, and they always have bacon wrapped ones. They add a lot of crazy things, toppings to them, but today we are going to be adding, we'll only be ending with a crazy topping, but a very Mex Mexican, a very uh, picuanense topping that I'm gonna end with. And you guys, uh, maybe you guys didn't know because it's in the recipe, but if anybody has any guesses, go for it. I'm gonna start turning these guys. And allow for the for the fat from the bacon to uh to start to melt because that's what's gonna help it to not stick, okay? Any questions? Muy atento. Ooh, this is starting to smell really good. <laughs> Somebody having fun behind the camera. Making me laugh. Now the dogs are barking. It's a game on one party. A hot dog party. A la cochita. <laughs> oh, these are looking really good. I like really like my hot dogs also with um with grilled mushrooms and mojito, champignons. Have you ever tried them with nopales? With what? Nopales. Nopales. No. Oh, They're bomb. Haces como un pico de gallo de nopales and you put them on there. Amazing. I would have never thought of eating them like that. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
So last weekend I made these and I actually made them the skillet on top of um, the grill. So you can also do that. If you guys are grilling outside, just bring out the skillet and cook your hot dogs outside. We got some water. While we're waiting for our hot dogs. Bueno, salud a one of the other Ooh. There we go, we're getting nice color on our hot dogs that are exactly what we want. We want that bacon to be nice and crispy. And our hot dogs to be fully cooked. So some people in my house, and I always like to use this thing because my house is divided. Okay, so my house is divided between people who like their bacon extra crunchy and people who like their bacon just perfect. And I, I mean, the just perfect one. But others like it. My dad likes his bacon extra crispy. Like he wants to hear that crunch. I like it just like like from a like a diner because there's no there's that perfect uh, bacon. But here we do want some color and we do want some caramel bacon and flavor. Okay. You know, that's how you do that. Last week, this is for last weekend. Uh, we were at a barbecue and I made these hot dogs. And there was this um, a family friend is a uh, he took that time by the Padres and he ate one of these hot dogs. He's like, I'm gonna tell him that they have to add these to the stadium, and I'm like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should, but I'm not going to be making them there. I don't have enough time. Uh, but he was really excited uh, about some products. He said they were really, really good. They were like better than the, state, the ones at the stadium. So that's a good thing. And he knows hot dogs. No, nice color here. These guys are almost done. I'm actually going to start heating up my. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what we're going to do here is I'm not going to say this is optional because it's not optional. It's exactly. Okay, so we're going to add just a little smear of mayo. To our hot dog bun because that's gonna help it heat it, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little bit of that best with mayo. Calories don't count on the weekend, so don't worry about it. But again, it's really stupid right now. Okay? Just like that, we're gonna start cleaning these guys. Little smear. Okay, somebody said that's a lot of smear. It's a smear. Okay. Don't even worry about This one does not fit in here. It will make them fit. Okay. Any questions on our Mexican hot dogs? Ooh, those hot dogs are almost ready to go. Okay. 
And what we can do is we can add those hot dogs to the plate with some uh, paper towel. In order for that extra grease and fat. And singing is not one of my talents, but I enjoy it very much, okay? These are cuartas cebollitas. Or bolis, because that's what they call my husband. That's his nickname. So these are cebollitas del boli. Look at that. Ooh, okay. So aioli time. And then we'll end with. Don't worry about that. They like them crispy. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, we're going to add that spicy. Remember, this has spice in it. We're going to add this spicy avocado aioli that you now know how to make. Look at that, you guys. What? It smells spicy. It smells spicy? Mm -hmm. It's el delicioso. Okay. Now for that special crunch. Okay? Where I'm from, they add fresh rupee on top of the hot dog. Yes, they do. And actually, it's a nice crunch to it because these toppings are very on the same texture side. So now we're going to add a little bit of fresh rupee to our hot dog. Make sure to get off. You can crush the whole bag. I'm just going to crush a little bit of them. Rufles de queso. They do have to be this kind. They do cannot be the American brand of the cheese rufles, okay? Tiene que ser rufles de queso. De la bolsa de rufles. Okay? Just like that. Y también le ponen tostitos, creo, y rancheritos, y no sé. Lo que encuentren... Aquí le pone. Pero estos son con rufles. 
I've also seen hot Cheeto ones. Y aquí los tienen, los Mexican hot dogs. ¿Cómo la ven? Mexican hot dogs with spicy avocado aioli, um, cebollitas or caramelized onions, uh, a la boli, and also um, those crunch truffles that give it that extra authentic Tijuana uh, cheap style taste. Okay, they're perfect for your super world weekend, for carne asada, for whatever. They look delicious. They, and they're really good. Like you wouldn't think the combination, but they're honestly really good. And if you want to go extra this Super Bowl weekend, go to North State, buy their guacamole, and top it off. Top it off with the rest of these tacos. Okay, you guys? Awesome. Oh. Any questions about hot dogs or is everybody actually waiting for that to get you? And it's okay. We don't judge you. Everybody, <laughs> also, everybody in this house is waiting for that to get there. That spicy pepino michelada. So, <gasps> so if we move on. Let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Oh, how do I like it? Good? Okay, my mom and Tom. I don't know if they can hear it or I'm feeling like it's like a little bit. Uh, and I'm just saying like the face of it. Okay. So, what we have going on here is our spicy cucumber michelada. Okay, and you know you can't have a carne asada or a tomi or a tomi without a nice cold beer. Okay, so this is my michelada. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the beers and today we're using modela. Okay, grab the beers. Ice cold beer. I only need two. And they're gonna magically appear. Okay. <laughs> So we're using Modelo, okay? Ice cold Modelo. I'm gonna go grab the... Ay, se puso muy fiestero el asunto. Okay, let's get started, okay? Super easy. This is a traditional, you can say this is a traditional michelada that has cucumber in it, okay? Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna rim the... Uh, before we rim, we're actually gonna do this, okay? That's what we're gonna do. So in here, and you can use a pit, uh, this picture is perfect because we're only making two micheladas. So you need one cup of clamato juice. And you don't know what clamato is, it's basically like a tomato juice and clam juice. Uh, don't worry, it does not taste like clams. Clamato is amazing. It's one of my favorite things on the planet, okay? So if you don't know what it is, just buy clamato. So, so one cup of clamato juice. We're gonna do half a tablespoon of your choice of hot sauce. I think I'm using um, the chorp. This is gonna give it the, that spice that we're looking for. We're gonna do one fourth cup of lime juice. There we go. And the salsa negra. Okay, so in here I have one teaspoon of soy sauce and one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Oh, salsa negra. Like we know, like we know it, okay? And here, I like to add a little bit of pepper to my clamato mix, okay? So here we go. What we're gonna do is we're going to mix. Esto es nuestra michelada, y la base de nuestra michelada preparada, okay? So what a michelada basically is, it's a michelada with clamato, or you can also have a michelada. And you can also do it just with wine, okay? So I have my prepared michelada. This is over here. I bought these two at Northgate, and I, which I love. This one's so easy to keep because you don't need a, 
a beauty of great it's the way to win hair coat is black it's already here keeps it nice and dry so what we're going to do is we're going to moisten the rim of two glasses and this is one of my favorite tamales it's Santa Pico de Mayo and it has different flavors this is a traditional one it's a michelada rim dressing so that's exactly what it is we're going to do a chamoncito just like that my mom likes this so much she can feel like this because we know how much oh look at that nice little rim <laughs> Are you guys watching? Really nice. <laughs> Woo! Vean eso. Delicioso. Delicioso. Aquí están muy calladitos porque todos quieren piquete. Y si se portan, nada más si se portaron bien. Uh, qué lena. Para acabar la clase, muy bien. So remember, chamoy to moisten the rim, tajín to coat your rim. In here I have those two glasses, I'm going to add ice. So this is how they serve your michelada. They just serve, they top it off with beer, using modelo. And then we're also gonna add a little bit more of that pequeñito so that we have some floating on top. Just like that. Okay, and we're adding, for decor, we're gonna add a lime, a little lime over here. I also have the pino that I'm going to add to the back. This is a lot of There we go. And I also have these little spears because I just like the way, I don't like the way it looks. Like that. And for that extra kick, we're going to add that serrano to the back. There's one serrano that I have. And there you go. Esas son nuestras spicy cucumber micheladas, you guys. Oh, I need a 
Do you have a... Okay, I just have to drink it. I was looking for a straw. Pero, me la va a tener que tomar toda. Salud. Salud. You guys, so good, so refreshing. Perfect for the beginning. Perfect ending or starter to your day for your Super Bowl weekend. You guys, esta micelada está deliciosa. Modelo, so you drink a little bit and then you keep adding your beer to your micelada, okay? Look at that, you guys. Mmm, so good. Any mm. questions? No, thank you so much, Isabella. It was awesome to have this day with you. I can't wait till next week. I know you're going to share another awesome recipe with us. And we have another class tomorrow. So guys, stay tuned. We have classes this week, next week, the week after, and all the way till April. And I hope to see you guys in our class. Thank you so much for joining us. So if you make our recipes, tag Northgate, tag myself at my handle, Isabella M. Funke, um, F-U-N-C-K-E. Uh, we love to see when you cook our food. Uh, next week, I have a also a, a tailgating, home gating class, and I'm going to do, I'm going to use Northgate's taquiza, so they got you covered with the taquiza, and I'm also going to be making a queso fundido with chorizo y champiñones, so stay tuned. Oh, and a Cadillac, uh, we're also ending with a Cadillac margarita, and that's one of my favorite recipes ever, so stay tuned, come back next week, thank you, saludcita. Hasta luego, bye. Bye-bye.